Today we're going to add the color. You can use paint, you can use markers, you can use dot markers. I'm going to use a little bit of paint, not paint, I'm going to use a little bit, okay. Welcome back. Today I'm going to add the crayon resist part with the, with the markers um, or the paint. You can also use dot markers. Today I'm going to use dot markers and markers because I don't have any watercolor paints here. So I'm gonna use the dot markers. Watercolor paints would look just as fine. Just remember you don't wanna do two wet paste parts right next to each other until the other part dries, otherwise they'll bleed together. If you're using dot markers and regular markers, you're gonna to wanna to use the dot markers first, okay? So I'm gonna get out a couple of dot markers here. I'm gonna start with those. And the same rule kind of applies. Um, you kinda of wanna put a little bit of each color on a different side. Um, I'm going to start, put my dot markers right down there. I'm gonna start with this really nice yellow, and these are brand new ones, so they've never been used before. So I'm gonna do yellow right here. The, so I've gotta get it juicy. To get it juicy, remember you just squeeze and wiggle it around. Okay, and I'm not drawing any lines. I am just doing dots. Just like that, I'm being careful around the edges. So on mine, I'm gonna do the bigger areas with dots and the littler areas with um, markers. So let's see, if I wanted that to be that color, I might do yellow with a marker somewhere else. I do want pink and I want pink in a big area. So I want my pink to be here. Notice I'm not pounding my dot markers. If you listen, you can even hear it squish, which is kind of satisfying.
Okay, so I have done all my dot markers that I'm gonna do, and you can see how my cute little um, white freckles have shown up and um, how messy it is. So that's why another reason to always have a placemat underneath. Mine is just a piece of gray construction paper. That's my placemat. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add some markers to mine. And so I'm going to choose the markers that I'm gonna want. And there are some things that I'm definitely going to want to include. So for example, I need to have, there's some orange here. So I need some orange on this side because that's one piece I did not put, so let me grab this orange marker and I'm going to do this right here in orange. Now you might be wondering, why did I say you had to use your dot markers first if you're using them? And that is because, or paint, if you're using paint and markers together, you wanna do your, your um, you would wanna do the paint part first because when the, if you happen to accidentally touch the marker part with either the dot marker or with the paintbrush, it's gonna bleed. Because I'm using, unless you're using permanent markers, and I, I'm not, I'm using water-based markers. So um, they would bleed. So now I've got the orange on both sides. I have to decide what color I want my nose to be. Let's see. I think I want it to be red. So I'm gonna do red nose. Makes me sad. Not really, it's pretty sad. Um. Oh, dark.
one and see what that looks like. Light pink. And a better one of that. That's pretty awful. You already thought I got all these good markers. And now it's done being colored. You can see that I might need to do some wiping with a paper towel or a tissue. And so I'm finished with all of the color using dot markers and crayons and markers. Like I said, you could use whatever you have at home. If you're doing a crayon resist, you might need to do the rubbing part, which is what takes some of the marker off the top. You can see how it's getting the marker off so that the crayon resist shows up even better. Some of mine weren't quite as juicy as other ones, so they're showing up pretty well already. But I did have some really juicy ones in there too. So I've got all of that part done, um, and the outline part we'll do tomorrow. So, hello, welcome back. Hello, welcome back. We're gonna talk about the outlining part today. It's best to outline with a fat marker. I'm gonna use a Crayola outline marker because it has a fat side and a skinny side. And I'm gonna use the fat side for almost everything. So I'm using this, the fat side to come along and draw my black outlines. And I do this at the end rather than at the beginning because then if I have any areas where I kinda when outside the lines, I can just kind of cover them up and nobody would ever, ever, ever have to know. Let's see. You can see just by outlining it, how it really makes it stand out. I do like to color in this part. Leaving a little white highlight. Do the same thing right there. using the tip to do right there.
And there is my completed Sandra Silberzweig artwork for you to see. Hopefully you had fun and you can make your own. I have tons of different examples that I'll play and they're quite fun to do. You can do they can be different every single time. Have a great weekend.